Welcome to Daily Dose. My name is Robert here with my pal and fellow board member of uh, Yes and Exercise, Amy. How are you today? I'm doing okay. So we're talking Shawshank. Can you believe it's been 30 years since that film was released? No, I can't believe it. <laughs> It, uh, you know, it, it's it's number one on many people's list. It's certainly my favorite. And it's part of the reason uh, we, we put it in the program the way it is, the, the Parkinson's prison and the hero's journey to escape. Can you tell me what it was like watching the film, rewatching it in the scope of our class and and maybe what it what you saw differently or how it affected you? Well, um, to, to be honest, I didn't remember it very well when I watched it for the class, it's certainly a good film, but it wasn't a favorite. Right. Um, but uh, after I watched it and I took the class and then when I tell people, they were always like, oh, Shawshank, kind of surprised and like, oh yeah, that's a really good film. I liked that film. Um, so what I, so I was listening to it and watching it completely from a different place because how was it going to serve me in this journey this hero's journey that we were taking um through the class and how would it serve me and it i was surprised myself it served me very well it it because if i had to pick something myself to help me along the way a film i would not have picked that film Right. So there are things that happen in the film that um, I think for Parkinson's person, for anybody, it it opened you, it opens you up. It opened me up to um, a way of thinking that I, I, I would not have done. And to get so uh, far into understanding who Andy was um, that yeah that really opened my mind um and especially the ending don't want to give it away but um the titanic sinks <laughs> yeah but but at the end it's just like you know everything's possible nothing is written in right. stone um open your mind things like that well, and, and you're you're completely right. You, you pick all those messages. And I love the fact you come from, you know, not a, oh, my God, fan boy, fan girl type of perspective like me. Right. My favorite film. Easy for me to lean in. But you're like, yeah, it's a good film, but I wouldn't have thought of it this way. And yet you're able to by looking at it, you know, in, in a. Um, a regimented form, having the hero's journey, Joseph Campbell's work and, you know, week by week working with the class all of a sudden to recognize the metaphorical opportunities. And, and you begin to metaphorically look at your life and especially your emotions too, as I remember differently too. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. I hadn't thought of myself, at least I'm not sure that I had used the word prison or imprisoned. The thought of myself, you know, being like that, but it certainly felt like that once I started taking the class and, and, you know, you started talking about things and stuff started bubbling to the surface. And I went, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I am trapped in a prison and I need to figure out how to deal with this. So, so there's, yeah, awareness. Uh, and and first of all, right, that it is, even, even is that acceptance, right, that, oh, gosh, I, I guess not only is it a thing, but it's part of me. And then the action, right, to do that thing uh, next, which, you know, for you, uh, as I recall, uh, meant, uh, again, mythologizing some of your, your emotions and externalizing them in a way that by giving them a character, you could at least have better influence over them as opposed to, like you said, be trapped by them or tormented by them, right? Yeah, no, and that was a huge gift uh, for you to be able to tell me, to tell us, you know, mythologize these emotions, get them, separate them from me basically Se separate them from what defines me um so that i can uh so i can define them more and i can look at them uh more objectively and figure out wh what's bothering me the most and what i can do about it well that's what andy does too right i mean he certainly 
throughout the movie influences people make helps them see things in themselves differently famously tommy right the young man to reassess his life certainly in the broad sense red to reassess what institutionalization is and what his opportunities are within that um, how they looked and thought about brooks uh, how they thought about their own opportunities of what how to yes i'm in a prison and here's how I'm going to live in a prison. I don't need to be an ignorant fool. I could be educated within this space. I could better myself even if I am trapped. I mean, these are incredible gifts that Andy gave us. Yeah, I mean, that's it exactly. Even now, I thought, you know, I some I sometimes stop myself and think about how my life is so much smaller than it used to be. Uh, but it doesn't mean I have to shrink and I have to feel bad about it. I just like Andy did, okay, this is where I am. What do I want to do in this surrounding? What, what do I want to, you know, how do I want to make something out of this? Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I mean, this is perfect. And, and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you sharing your story because, you know, we want to let everybody know, both the Parkinson's community and the community at large, this program is for them. Um, you know, it started as a Parkinson's prison uh, and the hero's journey to escape and really becoming now, um, the Shawshank Heroes Journey, which allows the general public to come in and, and everybody gets to serve the, the nonprofit, which is great. So even if you're a person who has nothing to do with Parkinson's, you can benefit uh, the good work that we're doing. Yeah. Yep. I think it's very beneficial for individuals. Yeah. We'll see you on the next dose, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.